I want you guys to behold a miracle. You have no idea what this man has been through and still fighting. Praise the Lord, he is here. Of course, I had to really persuade him. But it's a, it's a, yes. And I'd like to invite the leadership to come forward, please. You stay here. Well, you might you move here more to the center. We'll kind of surround you. Handsome? All right. All right. Reading from the book of Exodus, or Shemot. A few uh, chapters back in our readings throughout the month, actually chapter 24, verses 12 to 14. Adonai said to Moshe, come up to me on the mountain and stay there. I will give you the stone tablets with the Torah and the mitzvot I have written on them so that you can teach them. So Moshe got up, also Yehoshua, his assistant, and Moshe went up onto the mountain of God. To the leaders, he said, stay here for us until we come back to you. See, Aharon and Hur are with you. Whoever has a problem should turn to them. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, from the very beginning, like Aharon or Aaron and Hur, William has been with me and the Star in the East as a support and a help to teach the truth of Torah and the truth of Yeshua HaMashiach. When troubled times came, and they did, he was there to turn to and to hold me up and support this ministry, just like Aaron and her. Close to 20 years now, William has served the site in his role as a shamash, as a deacon. But his role as part of this congregation is evolving. Today, it is the consensus recommendation of leadership to bring William Atkins forward for shmicha to his new role now as zachin or elder. You know, in Rabbi Shaul, the Apostle Paul's letter to his apprentice Titus, chapter 1, verses uh, 6 to 9, he described what distinguished a leader. It is a man who is blameless, husband to one wife with believing children, do not have a reputation for being uh, wild or rebellious, at least not these days. <laughs> for an overseer, as someone entrusted with God's affairs, must be blameless. He must not be self-willed or quick-tempered. He must not drink excessively get into fights, or be greedy for dishonest gain. On the contrary, he must be hospitable, devoted to good, sober-mindedness, uprightness, holiness, and self-control. He must hold firmly to the trustworthy message that agrees with the doctrine so that by his sound teaching, he will be able to exhort and encourage and also to refute those who speak against it. Fellow Zachanin and Shamashim that you see before you, please join me in the Shmicha of William through the laying on of hands and the anointing with oil. Father, in Yeshua's name, this man, when we have gone weary, he has come with strength. Father, he could not do that unless he was a man who drew upon the strength of the Holy Spirit in his own life. Even, Father, in his battle with cancer, Father, he's strong in faith. Father, what the body cannot provide, the spirit overwhelms, overwhelms, Father, with courage and strength. But Father, we thank you for him. We pray, Father, that you continue to empower him to defeat this enemy that has attacked his body. But Father, we give praises and, and rejoice, Father, in the fact that 
Your spirit has risen up in him to make him stronger than ever and an example for the rest of us in these battles that we all face in this world. Father, I pray in Yeshua's name, Lord, that we continue, Father, to look to godly men like this, Father, for direction and for as an example and a witness to the truth and the saving grace of Yeshua. Thank you for him. Thank you for him being in our midst, his valuable asset that we have been blessed with. And we pray, Father, you continue mercy upon him. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So Mazel Tov, William. Mazel Tov. On the special calling God has placed upon you. And as the same time, I want you to never forget what God consecrates, be certain the Hasatan will be relentless in trying to desecrate. My advice to you is the same given to Timothy by Rabbi Shaul. Do not neglect your gift, which you were given through a prophecy when the body of elders gave you a shmicha. Be diligent about this work. Throw yourself into it so that your progress may be clear for everyone. In other words, own it, live it, and never forget to whom much is given, much is expected. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend.